So we welcome our viewers that have been watching Bathurst to a special moment in Australian racing. It's the $3 million Caulfield Guineas. The hot favourite is broadsiding. James McDonald sits on 99 Group 1 winners. Only four jockeys have ever ridden 100 Group 1 winners that have been based in Australia. He joins an elite group of here to win. He runs in the Godolphin Blue for James Cummings, who's won two of the last three of these. It's a, such an important race. It's $3 million. It's a race that can make a cult. This bloke's already won four Group 1s, uh, three Group 1s to his name broadsiding. He was the champion two-year-old of last year, and we're about to reach a moment in Australian racing. So the last to come up is the 300-1 outsider, Jamie Mott, to bring out a Vianara, and they'll be locked away. The 144th running of one of the great races of the Australian turf. It's been a leader's track. It's a big challenge for a horse that goes back in his races. Vianara almost in. Shove, shove, shove. And can you believe it? The despised outsider does not want to take his place. Now he does. Here's Matt Hill. Bye for a Off. start. Caulfield Guineas. Ready. Set, and they're racing. Broad siding towards the outside, away fairly. Ruta Royale jumped quickly, with also Private Life, who's going to lead them early for Roche and Tropicus behind those horses. Wanneru is in about fourth or fifth as they settle down into stride. They were followed by around the outside Mayfair, who got to about sixth and driving through between horses public attentions now in the top four so the leader of the 1100 meters private life by three quarters of a length route to royale for roche is third followed by public attention a length and a half tropicus on the fence and then came wanarua next in the field is mayfair a length and a half to broad siding who's two-thirds down the field from evaporate angel capital and the bolter vianara to the side of the course now 800 meters to go and the leader private life by a half length route to royale a length and a quarter for Roche third and then came public attention a length away Wanarua Mayfair deeper from Tropicus a length and a half evaporate broadsiding third last from Angel Capital and last of all Vianara 500 metres to go Private Life had a bit of a breather midway from in second route to Royale. Public attention three deep for Roche behind those horses trying to edge off the fence from Wanarua. Broad siding still has three behind it. The leader, Private Life, led by a length route to Royale for Roche. Public attention. Then came Evaporate. Broad siding still a long way off them. Private Life, 200 metres to go. Two lengths for Roche. Then came Evaporate and Broad siding. Private Life at the 100 from Feroche. Private Life for Roche coming at Private Life. Life, private life, private life is just one from Feroce Evaporate Broadsiding, then public attention, next to finish Vianara, and then came Tropicus Angel Capital, a gap Ruta Royale, Wanarua, and a long last was Mayfair. Irony in this, isn't there, because James McDonald's had his most previous uh, win, of course, with the Autumn Sun, the second of his three wins with Chris Waller, and he's been so dominant with Chris. That was a fantastic ride by Damien Lane. You just have to be on the pace today. You have to be there. Feroche almost pulled off another gigantic upset, and broadsiding, try as he may, has battled on into fourth place. It's 11, 8, and 3 in the Caulfield Guineas of 2024. Well, let's talk about the winner for a minute, uh, Katie. He's a beautiful cop by Written Tycoon, and Waller, Waller's a genius, and Damien Lane's an outstanding jockey. Yeah, well, we know that Waller's an absolute genius, and uh, obviously this track, you need to be on speed, uh, you need to be close to the fence, and that's exactly where Private Life lobbed. They went so slow in front, no one wanted to go forward, and which is surprising, knowing that the track was going to play leaderish, so Damien Lane just took advantage of that, and a really promising young colt here by Written Tycoon, been well placed here by Chris Waller. Broadsiding, I just unfortunately, uh, he, he had to come back and go around them and that's not how the, the track's been playing. So a uh, good performance there from him. Uh, Richo, uh, front running ride was a beauty and the Waller stable continued. Six group ones for the season. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Six group ones already for the season. Charlie Duckworth, you're a huge part.